Would you like to be as annoying as I was in this battle with EBR-75? Would you like to test out EBR-75 before everyone else is able to do that? Well, knowing you guys, I know you do. And in today's episode, in today's special episode featuring some EBR-75's gameplay, I have that unique opportunity, never seen before opportunity, when I am able to give away 7 goats featuring Banar EVR 75 FL10 for 7 days. I actually haven't seen that being done never before by Wargaming when they are giving away premium tank codes, uh, rental codes, yes, not the actual premium tanks, but the people are able to test out something super unique, and this is as unique as it gets. Complete a new vehicle featuring many brand new mechanics, uh, like boost mechanic, we have wheels in World of Tanks, new auto-aiming system, aka auto-aim assistance, or however you call it, the two different drive modes, rapid and cruise mode, uh, you can move uh, backwards as fast as you can move forwards up to 80 km per hour or minus 80 km per hour. So yeah, lucky 7 players are able to test this vehicle out for 7 days. Uh, at least this is what you were able to win from this episode and I might have even more goats uh, featuring EPR 75 for 7 days in my next episode that I upload where I announced all the winners and uh, the winner for the D26E or D25 E6 or D26 E5 Patriot. I don't know. Anyway, Patriot was up for grab as well. Tier 8 American Premium Heavy Tank. One of the best premium tanks in this game. But to now, let's talk about this vehicle, this interesting, really extremely interesting piece of art. Uh, a bit more while you were enjoying even more gameplay action on the background. Uh, because as uh, many of you guys said in my previous episode, under my previous episode, you want to see more gameplay action. So here it is, some interesting situations, some interesting positions uh, with uh, EBR-75. Now, what I saw from the comments, uh, many of you guys said that it is way too fast for today's meta. At the moment, uh, I cannot, I cannot agree and I cannot disagree either because it is way too early to say because people are still getting used to it. I was playing yesterday. I was playing up to five battles in total, and uh, in every single battle, I actually kind of dominated because it was so new. They, I, I, I guess, if they see it at first, they would like to check it out. What, what is going on on the battlefield? What is it? Uh, what is this thing on the battlefield? And after that, oh yeah, it is an enemy vehicle. I have to destroy it, and they have to shoot it. Like this is how it feels at the moment that it takes a bit, uh, a bit more time for the enemies to register what is going on and and uh, and if they have to damage it or not. Especially light tanks. Like seems like they are checking me out more often than not. And over here you were able to see that um, engine damage warning. This can actually boosting uh, too many times in a row or boosting too many times in one battle can actually damage your engine. Now, luckily this time I didn't have to use my repair kit, but if you use uh, your repair kit, uh, everything goes back to the normal. Otherwise, your engine is going to be yellow. But once again, talking about the mobility and people saying it is way too fast. Well, EBR-75, in my opinion, is not way too fast. It goes up to 80 km per hour, and if you use that rapid mode that goes up to 80 km per hour, your maneuverability is not the best. The best maneuverability is in cruise mode that goes up to 60 km per hour, and 60 is not the best, even among tier 8 light tanks. So we have way faster light tanks in this game overall light tanks that go over 70 like all the time uh, you do not have to switch modes and so on uh, so this going or this being a bit too fast uh, i do not know i cannot say it about ebr 75 maybe ebr 105 because tier 10 the crown jewel at the very top of the upcoming wheeled vehicles uh, mini branch is going up to 105 kilometers per hour 
first vehicle in World of Tanks going over 100 km per hour. Now this might be a bit too fast, knowing how this type of vehicles handle in this game, because uh, EBR-75 in the cruise mode handles like a charm. I really love it in the cruise mode, especially when I have some open ground to work with, like you were able to see from the, uh, from the first clip you saw. It, it is trolling enemy tanks, enemy tank destroyers especially, and heavy tanks like crazy. Even medium tanks are going to be circled to death by this little bugger. And uh, knowing first details about EBR-105, it here, Tempenar EBR, it can do all that and even more. Now let me actually quickly see, let me open up my previous video or my first introduction episode about EBR-105. And we can see power to weight ratio is 64.7 horsepower per ton. 64.7. Top speed in the rapid mode is 105, reverse speed is 75, and the top speed in the cruise mode is 75 and 50 moving backwards. So it doesn't have as fast uh, reverse speed as um, uh, forward speed, but 75 moving backwards is still freaking crazy. And aiming time is as crazy, 1.2 seconds, accuracy is uh, as crazy as well. I would say 0.38, 198 millimeters of penetration, 390 alpha damage, and 105 millimeters of HG penetration with 500 damage. EBR 105, if it comes out as it is, as it was on the super test server with uh, this type of mobility and gun handling and, and everything else, then maybe that vehicle is going to be a bit too fast. At the moment, I think I can say I do not think EBR 75 is game breakingly fast, even in tier 8. Like uh, 80 km per hour with uh, not the best uh, maneuverability is okay, and 60 km per hour with a really, really awesome maneuverability is okay, in my opinion, as well. And the majority of you guys agree with me, even though I saw many, many comments where people said this vehicle is a bit too fast, I saw more comments where they said it, it seems to be balanced. Like 80 is nothing game breaking. So, hopefully, this answers to that question. Now next up let's talk about the firepower. Once again looking at my comment section I literally spent like hour and a half or close to two hours yesterday reading through all the comments that you guys left under my previous episode where I asked uh, what do you think are those wheeled vehicles or is this wheeled vehicle balanced in your opinion. And the second uh, really hot topic in the comment section was uh, firepower. Many of you guys said it is a bit too weak. I really cannot agree with you uh, on that one. In my opinion, it is okay. You cannot make it uh, so much better than it is at the moment. Yes, penetration is low, but guys, penetration is actually better than on ELC even 90, for example. And yes, alpha damage is also low 175, and same goes to the view range. As I mentioned in my previous episode once again, this vehicle is blind as a bat. It has actually 20 meters weaker view range than on KV2, which is a freaking bat in this game with 330 meter view range. So this one has a 310 meter view range. But uh, all that considered, that crazy mobility, how this vehicle handles in the uh, cruise mode, um, gun handling, around one second aiming time, which means uh, this tank doesn't have any aiming time whatsoever. Moving accuracy, you actually do not need to use vertical stabilizers and those are blind shots, blind hits into the SDRV, into the camping SDRV. So switching to the H rounds uh, to deal even more damage. Let's see if I was lucky. Nope, I wasn't. Nope, I wasn't once again. And I really should carry even more H rounds because H ammunition is another pro, another really good feature about EBR 75. 75 millimeters of penetration. This is kind of mean penetration value for H rounds for a two shot auto loader vehicle. EBR 75. So, all in all, uh, if I'm thinking about all the positive things, um, I really do not want to see a lot better gun, a lot better firepower, because once again, gun handling is amazing. Aiming time, no aiming time whatsoever. Accuracy is good, and uh, that auto aim assistance as well on the top of everything else. And surprise, T92. I don't know, maybe that guy was stuck over there. 
But all in all, taking all the good and bad things into account, I really cannot agree with people who say that firepower on EBR-75 should be buffed. This vehicle was not made to deal crazy amount of damage in this game. I am actually not, I'm still not 100% sure what Wargaming was thinking about when they released uh, wild vehicles, like what they want to see them doing in this game. One thing most definitely has to be distraction, because at the moment at least, EBR-75 is the best distractor in this game. It was simply hilarious how I was able to distract the enemy team while I was circling one of their teammates. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was EBR-75 FL-10 once again. Some more gameplay action as you guys wanted to see. Hopefully you are happy. And as I said at the start of the episode, I am able to make seven of you super, super happy. Because I have seven special codes that is going to unlock EBR-75 for seven days into your account. And all you have to do for that is simple as always, leave one comment under this episode answering to my today's video question with your in-game username and with your server. And the question is, which vehicle class in this game is your favorite and why? And if you won uh, one special code, I am going to copy paste that in the in-game chat, into the in-game chat. And that is it. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button as well, of course, as always, on your way out. <laughs> I'll catch you next time, stay awesome, take care, and bye.